Frontline, it's Val again. I'm here to wrap up the HIV meds presentation. Uh, I want to talk with you about the combinations and the timing of doses. Um, because remember, we people are going to be using at least three drugs, three anti-HIV meds in any combination. And, uh, the, you know, that means that we're attacking it from different directions, which is really good, but this can make the timing of doses really complicated. Um, and here is the explanation for why the drugs are dosed the particular way that they are. Okay, there is a 50 cent phrase um, that is really important to remember, steady state concentration. Um, and so every medication has a different amount of time that it lasts in the body, which is known as half-life. Um, and every medication has a different amount that it needs to have throughout the body in order to be effective, which is the concentration. So drugs work best when the amount of them in the bloodstream is kept at a constant level or a steady state concentration. Um, that's the technical term. Um, and that's the goal of adherence. Um, so the steady state is a constant amount. It means it's high enough levels that it works all the time. It's low enough that it has the fewest side effects. Um, and dosing schedules are based on how to make the pills work for you and give you the best shot at a steady state concentration. This is true for not just HIV meds, this is true for every kind of med um, that might be prescribed. Um, but obviously our interest here is in helping folks living with HIV understand why the pills are prescribed the way that they are. Um, so let's look at this graph of steady state um, and each medicine that that um, anyone is on is going to have its own graph of this. But so this axis here, this x-axis is time, and this axis is the amount of medication in the blood. Okay, so for all of these meds there is the just right zone. Um, and this is, remember, that different for every single medication, but for every medication there's a certain line where you don't get any extra benefit from it, you just get more side effects, extra toxicities. For every medication there's a line where it's not enough medication and the the HIV or whatever met, d drug it is that is being fought doesn't have, um, there's not enough medication to get everywhere it needs to go. So steady state concentration is about keeping it right here in the zone. Okay, so let's see how this works. Um, let's say that somebody takes a med every day at 7 a.m. Um, so that medication every single day, this is where they swallow it and then they start. it starts to get distributed through the bloodstream, it's being distributed, and then at a certain point it sort of tops out and then it starts to get excreted, it starts to leave the bloodstream. So this is for every dose, every day, a pill goes through this, and, um, goes through this pattern here in this sort of bell curve way. So if a medication is designed to be dosed once a day, so that is somebody takes it at the same time every day, and the next day they take it at 7 a.m., it's designed so that as this yesterday's dose is leaving the bloodstream, today's dose is coming up in it, so that it never falls below this line right here. We don't want that crossover point to be right here, because then these humps here would be too high and they would go into this zone where we don't want to be at. So the next 7 a.m. dose, again, it's designed so that it's crossing over right as the last um, med, the last dose is leaving. So what happens when someone misses a dose? Well, let's look. Okay, so we have 7a um, and it has a bell curve. And then let's say that somebody just doesn't, they sleep through their alarm the next day, they don't even think about it, 7 a.m. comes and goes and they don't take it. Um, then the next 7 a.m. they remember and 
here's the bell curve. So you see that we have a window that's open here in the too low zone where there's not enough medication in the bloodstream. Now that happening once in a while is not a cause for alarm actually. We're, we're able to keep HIV at bay as soon as this next dose is taken. Um, if this happens every other day, obviously that's going to be a problem. But um, the, the real issue here is not a single missed dose. Um, I want to show you what happens when somebody decides to double up after a missed dose. Okay, so we have the 7 a.m. Um, one day and they take it and it leaves and then they forget at 7 a.m. and then at 1 p.m. they remember to take it and they double up. Okay, so what happens is it goes right into the too high zone, skips right past the just right zone, and we have potential for a little bit of an open window here in the too low zone. So what we want to encourage folks to do is not worry about a single missed dose. Resistance, HIV resistance is not going to occur from a single missed dose. The real issue is the pattern over time and if I said like if someone is missing doses every weekend that's a problem. Um, but what we want to, and we're going to spend more time on HIV resistance and how that works. What you need to understand is that if there's not enough medication in the blood, um, then the virus gets a chance to reproduce. And remember how it messes with its own genetic material. It makes a lot of mistakes. It's actually a really sloppy reproducer there. And some of those mistakes can can actually benefit the virus in that there are mistakes that allow it to live in the bloodstream even though there's medication in the bloodstream and uh, and it might pass those mistakes on to its children if they're advantageous so um, the I've said all of this um, so but basically what it means is that HIV reproduces even with the medication in the bloodstream so you get the bad part of medication, which is side effects, but you don't get any of the good part of medication, which is kicking HIV in the butt. Um, so the best approach here is that if someone misses a dose, um, the best thing to do is take it as soon as you remember. Don't double up on it and get back on track. Um, make it part of a schedule that you can work with. Um, you can either go right back to the 7 a.m. dosing um, the next day, or you can sort of uh, go back slowly um, and take it. You've, all of these meds are built with a little bit of wiggle room in mind. Um, so um, like I said, don't worry about it too hard. A single dose, everybody everybody misses a, a dose now or then um, when it really becomes an issue. And, and we're actually going to talk too more about helping people um, with adherence because uh, when, we're, when when we talk about HIV adherence, the expectation is that people are going to take 95% of their doses correctly. And that is a tall order. Um, so here's some bottom line issues. HIV life cycle is complicated and we can mess with it at multiple points. Can and do mess with it at multiple points. Um, combinations work, their meds working together to attack HIV from multiple directions. Um, the steady state means a constant amount and we don't want there to be too much, we don't want there to be too little, um, and the, the ultimate goal is to have meds that are in the body constantly um, so that HIV never gets a chance to reproduce. That's the end of our slideshow. Uh, please uh, join us for the next lesson and uh, take care. Bye-bye.